right, we are back at Kilker for the night drifting luau event. And there's about 30, 40 cars here. I got the homies. Corey and I have driven here multiple times now. I know this is like my second or third time here, but we're really stoked for this event because it's going to be hopefully a ton of seat time and we're going to be able to just keep on driving and driving and burn through all of our tires. You ready to go out? Yeah. Let's get her done. Okay, we're about to go out for uh, a couple of laps. These are my first couple of laps, so I'm not going to record it. I'm just going to practice, see how it goes. Just a couple laps deep. Uh, kind of having trouble like getting going here. Uh, I've had like three people get off course, like have have to be taken off by the tow truck, whatever. Just little stuff but I think we're getting back into the motion here about to put down a couple laps the biggest rippers here in this FC there's a nice S14 I think that's a Genesis up there they're part of a team Jeff Donati I believe his name is in the G I think those other guys exited track, but this should be fun. I really like this car too. It looks nice. It's pretty new. Kind of a good option for, you know, a drift car that you can drive to the track. Uh, you know, with one set of tires, have a blast of a day and drive it home. I'm sure it's got AC and everything. That's quite the rig. Definitely a consideration. <laughs> behind the wheel i knew exactly what he was going to be doing I trusted him that's really sweet now hopefully <laughs> now hopefully he does the same thing for me because i don't i don't know if i'm that great um <laughs> choke like that and I need to stop being an idiot and just drive like normal I need to not do this stupid stuff I need to not get nervous when I'm behind people that are better than me let's see that's all it is obviously I can drive the track I can link the track either seat time like trying to get the hang of things not being so nervous just need to collect myself I'm gonna go back out there and try to recover just keep on driving I defeated the tire on the driver's side when I hit that 
that big curve. I'm sure you can hear it in the video. I laid in it in third just to keep it spinning around. Nobody made any contact, everything was good. Just pissed it spun out. I always get so mad at myself, but it's all good. We're gonna fix it, we're gonna be back out there. I don't know, for some reason I feel like I'm not like driving to my potential today. Even though I'm having fun, there's just like, got a feeling in the back of my mind that, you know, I'm just like not where, you know, I'd like to be maybe mindset wise. I don't know, I'm just gonna take a minute to think about it. Maybe I'm just like too hyped up, too, uh, like not not like not on the correct pace for my mind um compared to like where i'm at with my hands and my arms the way that i'm moving and everything i think i just need to calm down relax a little bit maybe stretch <laughs> I think about drifting all the time it's like the only thing that i think about it's the only thing that i want to do it's the only thing that's on my mind and when i'm finally here at the track it's like the perfect escape but at the same time like I feel like sometimes I'm not paying enough attention so I'm gonna try to get like out of the zone and just figure it out now it's like eight o'clock I think me and the homies are about to go to Waffle House make our you know we have to make a trip to Waffle House it's like the best restaurant in the world. It's basically like a hibachi steak restaurant, Benihana, anything like that. It's kind of like that, but for breakfast. So we're excited to go. It's some of our favorite meals and it's cheap. So we're about to head out. at a drift event? Yeah, actually, yeah. I went a long time ago when I was like 10, so I don't think that really counts. Yeah? Yeah.
Okay, so it is now a couple weeks later. Um, I'm just now filming the outro, but now, as you can see, the car is actually fixed. <laughs> um, for the most part, this side looks really good. The collision shop did a really good uh, job of pulling it out, making it look pretty, and just fixing up everything that was really uh, messed up. This side, on the other hand, warped pretty bad and i didn't have them fix it because i didn't have the time and i bumped it out at home but this is looking kind of wavy right now but it was this side was all the way out here i mean it sucks to suck but that was like <laughs> the coolest thing i've ever done in my life the whole event was just like a crazy party and it was just like icing on the cake. The driving was insane. Everybody was having a blast and you know, it was giving ride alongs the whole time. I mean, I can't even complain. So, I mean, it sucks to suck. Just don't hit the wall next time. And then you don't have to deal with the damages. So anyways, I'm gonna end this video quick. Um, I'm loading this car on the trailer in two days and driving very far away to a very cool event. Just gotta load it up, so be excited.